All right, in this recording, uh, hopefully I'm talking loud enough. Uh, you guys can hear me. Uh, give me feedback if you can't. Um, so we've uh, done some pretty cool things. Uh, again, I'm going to turn off uh, a couple of my things here. I think we turned that on just to kind of see what it looked like. We'll turn off our bar and make sure you select the base. You'll be like, oh my God, where is all my work? Well, just make sure you select your base and the texture set list. Okay. If you don't see your texture set list, it's over here on the right. All right. So I'm going to hit uh, shift here and I'm not really happy with uh, this lighting of this scene. It's kind of dark, uh, even with my uh, brightness all the way up uh, high, uh, it's still kind of dark. So I'm going to go back to uh, my display settings and uh, go to my environment map and, and I set this to whatever that word is. Uh, I'm gonna set it to something a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna go to a soft light here, soft low contrast front and hit that. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I think it's a little bit brighter. Again, I have the, the soft shadow on so I can see a little bit of shadows as we're going through it. All right. So not, not a lot of going on here. We're just uh, several layers of patina and color. Uh, I think it's a little bit too light blue, but uh, again, you're gonna go back and do micro adjustments. Again, nothing is set in stone here, but uh, we do wanna start adding some rust. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. All right, and so what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna go to the very top here and going to add a another uh, fill layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, add a, a black mask. And I'm gonna go back to my fill. And I think we want to keep everything, probably not a normal map, uh, but we're gonna do color. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the color. And uh, I actually typed in rust earlier. So I'm gonna do that, show you how to bring up uh, rust. You can also import your own rust, but I think that's a it's kind of a pain of a 2D right now. So let's uh, we'll probably go over that how to do decals in just a second on probably the the next to last uh, video. All right, so we're gonna do uh, rust, and again we haven't even used our uh, Wacom tablets yet. We're just totally using just our uh, mouses right now. So we've got uh, fine rust. And then we also got this uh, nice golden uh, dark rust. So I'm gonna hit the rust fine. And so if we didn't have our mask on, we would probably, uh, we would see it right here. So we're gonna go ahead and select that and we're gonna make a generator. And click on generator. As you saw I was doing MG editor earlier and we're gonna do MG and maybe dripping. Let's, Maybe type in dripping. Okay, so here it is right here. If we uh, roll over, it's called dripping rust. All right. So, and also you can see uh, my UV maps for my drain. So hopefully we're on the right thing. So we're gonna go ahead and do our dripping rust. And boom, we already have it. And you can sit back and you're done. No, we're actually going to uh, adjust it, right? Um, so we can play around with the rusting spread, uh, contrast, play around with it. And again, you want to build this up in layers. And, and in a second, we're going to duplicate this layer and we're going to do, uh, MG editor. And we're going to add, uh, the edging on here. And, our, and on top of that, we're going to add another graphic or not another graphic, but another layer to it. All right, so we have we have some of our, of our rust here and you see some really bad UV mapping that I did here. It's starting to show up. So just play around uh, with the drips uh, intensity. So that's just showing uh, that uh, north and south uh, so that the drips go down. So play around with that. Uh, ooh, don't overdo it uh, again. Be subtle with it. Uh, some weird stuff going on here. Just gonna keep it very, very mental for the first pass. I don't think we need like to attack it with uh, rust. If we look back at our original uh, image, there's not a lot of rust on there, but I'm putting a little bit on here just to give it some uh, decay and so forth. So you can see that beautiful rust is kind of 
sliding down. This is how rust uh, is usually in between where you do your welding marks and then it just kind of bleeds down. So this is great. So uh, you can play around with the stuff however you want. Uh, that's inverted. You don't want that. You don't want to completely rust it out unless that's your aesthetic, right? Um, so that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to kind of stop there, but I'm going to go back and uh, make sure that there's a little bit of height to this. So if we have rust, it should be protruding out. So right now our height map is flat. So we actually want this to bulge out just a little bit. So I'm just going to go up here. We could like go really crazy, look like a 1998 video game with really bad graphics, but no. We are doing 2K and 4K. We want to make sure we do this uh, appropriately. So I'm just going to bump it up just a little bit. Uh, you can also type in 0.02 if you want or however you want uh, to do it if the slider scale isn't uh, working appropriately. All right, so I'm just going to uh, do my slider tool. And again, baby steps on your first round. So I think that's a little too much. Okay, I've got it to 0.069. All right, again, baby steps. And then we can always dial this back later. I'm just trying to start to do a little bit of painting on here. It looks really great on the front here. The side is a little heavy handed. If we look at that. Again, we haven't even touched our Wacom tablet yet. So we're gonna start adding some welding lines maybe down the road and so forth. So a lot of this is not even the tablet yet. So once we get into uh, our Cricut and other forms, uh, we will be able to do some really cool stuff. All right, so uh, before I uh, stop with this tutorial or this uh, video, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. So I right click and hit duplicate layer. All right, so boom, we can have two of these on top of each other, okay? so. I don't want to do that. I actually want to go to my dripping uh, generator. I'm going to go to a different generator. So I'm going to type in M G editor. Okay, hopefully it shows up. And it says this little guy right here. And uh, go ahead and hit boom. And uh, you should uh, now start to see an editor. And what we want with the MG editor, it's going to give us uh, these lines kind of echoing those edges where the rust probably originates, right? Because this is where the welding marks are. Again, we can go back and look at uh, our images and you can start to see, there we go. It's this beautiful rust belt right here. We have the drip lines here. They're very minimal compared to what we did. We went a little above and beyond. All right, so we're gonna go back uh, to substance and you can play around uh, with these intensities, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and turn uh, the under one off and so we can see uh, how far we wanna take this. So this is pretty intense. Again, be very, very subtle. You can always add this stuff on. It's, uh, it's like trying to put on makeup. You know, you don't wanna to go too crazy uh, and add too much uh, makeup. You wanna build it up in layers. Okay, global blur. All right, so one of the things that we wanna do is add uh, another layer to this. So if we turn this on and off, it's kind of just kind of spread on there like too perfect. And so I'm gonna turn it up high. Again, I'm doing this really quickly. I want you guys to spend time and add these layers. I know it's you're doing like technical achievements too, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing here and you're going back and forth watching a video. But do try to spend some time and do some good craftsmanship. This is something that you want to show uh, on your demo reel or whatever. So right now I want to make, a, if we turn these both on, it's a little bit too much. So on this layer, I'm going to go ahead and add on top of that another fill and on this fill, I'm gonna go ahead and put a grunge on there. I'm gonna go ahead and roll over this grunge details. Maybe a different grunge. Let's roll over this one. Rudge. Okay, so that looks like a really good one. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna, instead of normal, again, that top one is dominating. I wanna hit multiply. 
And believe it or not, uh, it's breaking that up. So you can, instead of like a spray paint, it, it has a little bit more uh, value to it. And I'm gonna knock it down a little bit. All right, so you can knock down the intensity. I can knock down the intensity of that. I think I'm gonna keep it at 100. I think that's fine. All right, so let's go back to our mask. And I'm gonna try to tighten this up. It's a little too, too out there. Play around. Uh, that global contrast does a lot there. So that's way too tight. Uh, just kind of don't want it too blurry, but do want to kind of keep it nice and tight because once we turn on the other, this other one's is way too much. So when I go back to my dripping and See if I can hit that rust spreading. Ooh, it's very subtle. All right, I'm gonna keep it there. I don't think I did anything, but uh, dial it back. That's a lot of, a lot of rust. Uh, and again, we're gonna go back to our fill layer, select uh, that rust, and uh, we got the point uh, Six zero six nine for the edging. Again, go up close to it. Hold your shift and right button to kind of get that light to go across. Again, that drop shadow is flickering, but again, it gives you an idea of what that looks like. All right, spin it around. And this is just like my alt is your friend and left and oscillate your middle mouse and uh, go back and forth. That's looking really good on the front, I have to say. Uh, the side, uh, the side, I'm not too keen on, but again, uh, you're gonna have some good uh, spots, especially if procedural, you don't have 100% accuracy. Again, we haven't even gone into painting by hand yet, but this is all procedural. Like I said, over 80% of your models will be done procedurally, and then the last little bit, the, the highlights, your hero little uh, model shots that you wanna do, uh, you're adding little details, We'll do that by hand and also uh, just a little bit on with uh, the tab, Wacom tablet. The Wacom tablet is more for a ZBrush, I think. Uh, all right, it's looking pretty freaking good. I'm gonna stop there and then on the next one, we'll do uh, some decals, one, two, three, and then I'll stop. I'm gonna keep this simple. I don't wanna like uh, work on this too long, but you know, we have one, two, three, four, five, six layers. Not a lot, but I'm gonna stop it there. I don't wanna go too long on this, but it's looking pretty good uh, so far. All right, good luck. And I'm gonna put my lid on and my bar just to kind of see some contrast to what we have. All right, I always get excited. Any, anytime you put rust on anything, it looks pretty cool. So. Uh, we'll stop there and good luck.